This video is brought to you by Oxbeam.com and it's one of the leading manufacturers and suppliers of vehicle LED lights and vehicle accessories. Check them out in the description below. So today's video is gonna be a little bit different than what you're probably used to. The kind gentlemen over at Oxbeam have provided us three LED bulb kits, as you can see here. And we're gonna unbox them, you know, make a mini review of them, and then we're gonna install them in the Mazda and the Fiat, compare them to halogen and xenon bulbs, and whether you should install these in normal housings or solely particular housings. So let's start with a review. So as you can see here, we've got three boxes. This is the Series 9 H1 kit. This is the Series FS2 HB4 kit. And this is the Series 3 HB4 kit as well. The difference between these two is the kind of chip that's on the bulb. All these are 36 watt and 4,000 uh, 4, uh, lumens and rated at 6,000 kelvins. So they're, you know, so they're sunlight white. We're gonna be comparing these head to head in the Miata and see which one you should pick for your own type. First of all, let's unbox them. This is the box right here. It's got this small thingy right here that's got the manual inside and more information about the product, as you can see. These are two Oxbeam stickers. And then here we have these two bulbs that are neatly packaged. It feels nice, feels sturdy, it's made of aluminum. As you can see, the spread is 180 degrees, no front firing spread, so these will not work for high beams. They've got this little fan right here. This is the connector. Everything feels solid, sturdy, and seems to be waterproof enough for the car. And then this is the uh, FS2 series. This one right here looks like the um, looks like the bulbs that I had gotten from Oxbeam a year ago. So it's got a product manual. This looks more basic than that and these are the bulbs that are inside this is the bulb itself um, again there's a small fan in here same connector same you know it feels sturdy and nice so it should be pretty good and then there's this one same set of stickers same manual only this time around we've got h1s before actually reviewing the led bulbs what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about the LED bulbs, the xenon ones, and the stock halogen ones, and how they work, how they compare to each other, and what you should and shouldn't do with them. This right here is your stock halogen bulb. It gets power through here, then all sorts of magic happens. This hits up and it spreads light through a 360 degree angle, and it's got this small cap on the front to avoid dazzling other drivers. This right here is an HID or xenon bulb. As you can see, um, the small bubble, which is called the arc or something, is what actually produces the light. That is far further, you know, on the front than this one. And that means that it produces light in a different way. And if you install this, in a reflector housing that isn't designed for such bulbs that means that the uh, beam is gonna be all sorts of effed up and you're gonna dazzle other drivers and you're not gonna get the best results something to also note is that it doesn't have any sort of cap on the top and that means that excess light will go through the front the way the LEDs work is very similar it gets power through here, and the instant you uh, turn on the lights, these power up to full brightness. And they will not degrade over time, they will just eventually stop working, which is something that doesn't happen with xenon bulbs right here. So, our first test will be to compare these three uh, to a projector housing, which is what the Mazda has got and you're gonna see why this small cap that this thing has right here and the LED is important. So our first comparison is gonna be halogen on that side and LED on that side. As soon as we 
flick them on, you can see that this turns on to full brightness. Well, this doesn't. Well, as you can see, the beam angles are very similar, and in fact, the LED has a bit of a better, you know, projection of the light. Well, this one is more focused on the center. This means that it will light up all the road evenly and as you can see the cutoff is very strong it will not dazzle anyone it's actually a really really nice upgrade over the stock halogen bulbs now let's see what happens when we compare the stock halogen ones to the xenon ones first of all there's the delay when with this one powering on second this is far more bluish compared to the uh, LED ones. Now my camera actually has turned it more blue than it is in real life. And it turning slightly more bluish is an effect of, you know, this bulb degrading over the year that it's been in use. But as you can see, this does have, you know, a slight scatter problem in the middle. So let's see what happens when we put the LEDs on that side and compare LEDs versus HIDs head to head. Well, the difference is quite clear. As you can see, this has a perfect beam pattern, no scatter whatsoever, bright white light. This is far more faded and more bluish. So after covering all that stuff, we're gonna be covering a question that probably some of you may have asked the question would be should you get a csp bulb like this one right here which stands for chip scale package and it's got those small chips right there which are made by philips according to oxbeam or should you get cob or comp which stands for chips on board now, I think these are the S2 series, while the gold ones are the S3. Okay, so this is the difference between the beams of the two. As you can see, the one on this side is slightly brighter and wider, while this one is a bit more bluish. So if you're after the uh, sand and light effects, the, you know, the cool blue, you should get the black ones. If you want a more neutral and white light, you should get the golden ones. Or basically, in my honest opinion, both are excellent bulbs, great value for money, and you should just get the cheapest one available. And this is how it lights up during the night. And this is our Fiat. As you can see, it doesn't have projector housings, but it's only got reflector housings for both high beams and low beams and it's got the stock halogen bulbs installed so oxbeam has sent us the s9 series h1 bulbs and we're gonna see what happens when you install a led bulb in a reflector housing that was designed for a halogen bulb this has the halogen bulb and this has got the led now, I don't know if the lens can pick this up, but this thing is dazzling me badly. And let's see why that is caused. Well, this is why. This is the standard beam, and this is what the LED causes. Now, that's not the problem of the LED. That's because it's the wrong type of headlight. You should upgrade your headlights before putting on LEDs like that. So if you're gonna put LED lights in reflector housings, you should just go ahead and unsubscribe. I don't want to have such negative people in this channel.